Hello, my name is Maria Rebinder. I'm here to talk to you about legal aspects of data. Uh, data is protected by intellectual property, so intellectual property rights. Uh, databases are protected by, can be protected by copyright, uh, sui generis database right, or catalog right. And the datum and data inside the databases uh, can be protected by copyright. There can be photographs, texts, videos or other works that are protected by copyright. Also data on datum can be protected as trade secret. So copyright, sui generis database right, catalog right, these are all intellectual property rights uh, that can protect data and that databases. A database can also include personal data. There is personal data legislation uh, protecting uh, this data and especially protecting the data subject rights. So personal data is any data related to an identified or identifiable person and um, natural person and these data subjects have rights that are, are protected in legislation. The GDPR is the General Data Protection Regulation uh, of uh, EU, European Union, and uh, uh, that has uh, clarified and in some ways also strengthened the data subject rights of, of the people whose personal data is involved uh, in data processing. And uh, to take these rights into consideration, uh, you would make agreements about the database and the intellectual property rights involved in the database. Uh, you would also need to be accountable for the handling of personal data. So accountability means that you not only have to follow the legislation protecting personal data, but you also have to be able to show uh, that you have, uh, have protected the rights of the data subjects. You need transparency. You need to inform the data subject with privacy notices. You have to explain the legal basis. What is your legal base for handling the personal data? In the privacy notice, uh, you would explain, is it consent? If it is consent, of course, you also have to, uh, have to get the consent of the person. It can be performance of a contract or for a business. It can in some base cases be legitimate interest. And for example, in the context of university research, it can be scientific research, a task in the public uh, interest. Uh, the GDPR uh, protects personal data and personal data can, for example, be uh, location data. Um, and there, there's also other legislation um, that requires you to always get consent for the processing of location uh, data. And um, consent is linked to many data subject rights. Uh, if the processing of personal data is based on consent, the data subject also must have a possibility to revoke that consent as easily as the consent was uh, given. I'm going to talk to you about these intellectual property rights and the rights related to data subjects and personal data more in detail uh, in the following session.